Pencils ready and paper. You're not drawing on the table. Moss, you're not drawing in your food. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with our circles like we normally do, right? So now if you, when you have a character like this, a, a good way to do it is to draw a line that goes by the way that the character is standing. So if you draw a line like this, then you know where to put the head. And then you can put an oval for the body. And we see that she's got a leg that's going up like this. So you can draw the leg and the foot here. The other one is straight. So this is that shape stage we have, right? And then we've got her hand, which is here. And it goes behind her. And then the other one is holding her dress. So it's going to be here. I'm going to do the bow. I'm going to do her bow up front, up top. And you can put her ears back there, even though they're behind the bow, if you want. So that's our that's our shape stage of mini mice. Hi, Nova. How are you? You can wave. I know you're on mute. So you can... <laughs> All right. So we're drawing Minnie Mouse. So this is the, the shape stage that we're in. So once we finish that, we can... Uh, I'm going to take mine down a little bit so you can see it. God, I really don't know. And everybody at that stage, you guys all got that in okay? Yeah. All right. Mini yeah. Mouse. Okay, I'm, sw I'm switching to black now. So now I'm going to do the, this is the detail stage. So I'm going to start with the nose and I'm going to do an oval for the nose. And I'm going to do another oval inside there for the highlight. I'm just going to put the highlight in at the same time. Now we're going to do the top of her muzzle, I guess it's called. We're going to do a line here. And the reason we want to do that first, because that's where the... Um, that's where the eyes are going to go. Hello to everybody joining on. We got a few people coming in last minute. We're just starting now to draw uh, Minnie Mouse, if you're joining us late. And um, we've just put in what we call the shape stage, which are those blue lines. We put that in a pencil. And then we're taking a darker color, and we're going over it now to put the details. So we've got that line on the top. So we're going to draw an oval for the eye right here. So we're going to do two of those. And we're going to put the pupils in. One there. One here. And let's put the eyelashes in before we forget. Because those are important. All right. So I always like to get the eyes, the nose, and the mouth in. So I'm going to put the mouth in next. So I'm going to do the top part of the mouth where she's smiling, and then I'm going to do the curve underneath. And all you see inside is the tongue. So I'm going to put the tongue here, and I'm going to draw a little line underneath there for the bottom of the mouth. And you can put the edges on the, the mouth here. So now when we draw the sides of her face, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to draw one line, which is basically her cheek, but we're going to just draw it like that. We're not going to, don't attach it. The reason is that the finger's in to, on top of it. And on this side, you can do it all the way to like here. <clears throat> don't feel bad if your first one's not, we always have a warm up, so don't worry about it if it's not working out. So now... I'm going to do the bow next. The reason I'm doing the bow next is because the bow is on top of the other parts of her face. So let's start with the bottom part of the bow, like this. And then we're going to do this little piece of the bow here. And then we're going to do the top of that same part of the bow. So I'm going to do a little line I'm going to go up and down to here. Now we're going to do the uh, the knot of the bow. 
So again, remember, we're always doing it. Whatever's touching is what we try to do next. That's how it makes it easy. So we're going to do this little knot here, just like that. Hey, Hunter, how are you? Okay, so now we're gonna draw the other part of the bow. So we're going to draw um, a line here and a line there. That's for the wrinkles. Hey, Hunter, how are you? Good. Good, we're just drawing Minnie Mouse right now. Hi, Mouse. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna draw, we've got those two lines. We're gonna draw a line here. That's for that first part of the wrinkle of the bow. And then we're gonna draw this top part, which goes around like this to here. So when you have complex shapes like bows and stuff, it's nice to draw them just line by line until you get them. And then we're gonna do the bottom of the bow, which starts here and goes to here. So now that we have that, we can start drawing the rest of her head. So first of all, let's start with the inside. So just above her eyes, I'm going to draw that little black piece that's just below the bow. That's the piece I just put in there. And then I'm going to take the sides of her face. So the sides where it's, uh, um, I'll draw it in another color. So this part here. Okay, that's the that's what I'm going to draw now, uh, on on the face. So I'm going to draw it from around the middle of the bow where you see it meet the bow. I'm going to draw it here, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to finish it on this side. Okay, so now that we got our face complete, we can start with the ear. So I'm going to start with this one ear. Actually, I'm going to draw the side of her face here. Let's draw this line first to here. And we can do the same thing on the other side because we know that matches up with her cheeks. And then we're going to draw the two ears. So we have the one on the top here or the right. We're going to draw this to here. And on the other side, we'll do the same thing. So we should have her head complete. Hi, Dan. <laughs> oh, that, I cannot see what you're doing, so I can only see you. Well, your camera looks like it's pointing at the ceiling, so that might be why. Try moving your no, iPad. I, Hi, Papa. Hi, how are you? Can you see now? Oh. Oh, yes. I knew it was a good thing before. Oh, we can't see the screen? Yeah. Can everybody see the screen? Yeah. Thumbs up if you can see the screen. Everybody, thumbs up. So, Hunter, check something. It's You should be able to see the screen. Okay, so now we're going to do the hand touching her face. So let's do this top finger first, like this. Um. I don't think so. No. It's probably down the garage, yeah. And then we're going to do that piece of the finger here. All right. So we got the one by your face. So now we're going to do the baby finger first. And you'll notice she only has three fingers. So we're going to do this finger first. The reason is that it's in front. So I'm going to draw this one first. And then the other one. You could just draw a line like this, and that's because it's behind. And there's uh, three marks on her hand. One, two, three, like that. Yeah, you figured it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to draw the little piece of her hand underneath. And we can draw her arm just to here, okay? 
So we've got one hand done. That's pretty good. So let's start drawing her dress. I'm going to start where her chi where the bottom of her mouth is. I'm going to draw a line right here, right to her hand. So from her mouth to her hand. And then I'm going to draw the other line comes down the front right here. Oh. Wait, do you mean that, do you mean that class? Yeah. Want to join? Okay, so let's draw the bottom of her dress now. So I'm going to draw this one over here like this. What is it? Brownies. It's pasta. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so now we're going to draw her other arm. Okay, so this is going to be the tricky part. So we're going to start with the top of her arm. No, it, no, it is. But it's not like easy one. Well, I don't care. Okay, well, that's what we're making then. Tell me what you need. I need ground sauce. Okay. All right. So now we're going to draw. Um, so we've got the top of her arm. So let's just draw her arm like this. Just to where her hand is. And let's finish the sleeve. So we're going to draw the top of her sleeve here. And then we're going to draw another part of her sleeve like this. OK, and then we're going to draw. So now we're going to draw our hand. So the first thing we're going to draw is the thumb like this. And we'll put a little line here. And then we're going to draw the top of her hand, which goes like this. It's the part holding her dress. OK, so now we can draw the rest of her dress, which is basically a loop that goes like this. And there's a little line here. And top to here all right so you just need to add the little part on her back just like that and i think she's got a belt on this dress so let's put that in so we're getting there everybody doing okay i got everybody on mute so just unmute yourself if you need to ask a question okay so let's uh do her legs now so i'm going to do this leg first All right, and I'm going to do this part of the leg here. And then I'm going to do her foot. So her foot is basically just an oval like this. All right. So now I'm going to do the other part of her shoe, which goes like this. And then I'm going to do this part, which goes like this. And she's got another piece of her shoe out like this. I don't know if that's the heel. Probably is. So now we're going to do the other leg. So the other leg is straight. I hope I have enough room for mine. I have to move mine down. And then uh, here we're going to draw the oval on this side. And we're going to draw the oval on this side, but notice I've been connected at the bottom. And the reason for that is the top of the shoe. So we're going to draw the top of the shoe like that. And then we can do the side. And then we can do the bottom of the shoe as well. All right, there we go. So now you can uh, erase your pencil lines. So once you've got to here, you can erase your pencil lines like that. And then if you want to color it in, we can color it in. I'm going to color black for the ear. So any part of her face that should be black, we're going to do that. 
This year over here. And uh, her arm is blocked. This arm is blocked. And her legs are blocked. Now, when you do her legs, you got to watch because the legs touch, right? So draw the leg, do this leg, color that in black. You can do the foot. But when you do this leg, leave a strip, like a white strip like that, so that you can see there's a difference. Same here and same on this part of the leg. You're going to leave a little white strip as well. So anywhere that, because if you don't, it's going to be very hard to tell what it is. It's just going to look like a black blob. So you got to. And uh, I forgot the eyes, so do the eyes and nose black. And uh, do the eyes, but leave a highlight in there, okay? So make sure you leave a little white spot for the eyes. And then I'm going to bring out the uh, pink. So you can do pink wherever. And uh, we'll do the shoes pink while we got it out. And then I'm going to do her face flesh color, flesh tone, which is really a light peach is what flesh tone is. It's really just a light peach. Unless of course you're doing somebody from another culture, then you might want to do darker brown, whatever. You guys will do a better coloring job than me. I'm just trying to do it fast. And I'm going to do blue. Oh, I don't know if that's the right blue. So that was the detail. So this is what we call putting in the flats. When you put in one color with no shading, it's called putting in the flats. And even though I got a computer and I can probably do it faster by just doing um, some kind of button, I still like to color it the same because you'd be surprised how many uh, places you miss when you do some of those automatic tricks. So once I got this, um, if you take a darker pink, just like you see in the uh, photo, you can actually, uh, I like to draw in my highlight or my shadows. So this is how you make it a little more realistic. And same with the shoes. So basically anything that might be out of the sun is where you'd put it. You can do the bottom if you want. Okay, and then you guys, uh, you can also do it on the face too. So if you want to use a darker peach color, you could come on the face here and do it like this too. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I'm going to meet you guys because I How's everybody doing? Good. Good? Did everybody get Minnie Mouse done? Yep. All right. I, you guys are already doing Minnie Mouse. Uh, okay, so this is our next one, this guy here. I don't, I don't even know his name. 
Stinky Pete. Stinky oh. Pete? Okay, good. I'm glad someone knows his name. Um, Pete, 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 or Stinky Pete. Stinky Pete. <laughs> okay. So this one's going to be, this one, we, these are all ones that we didn't get a chance to do last time before when we were on. I think they went over. Um, all right. So what shape are we going to use for this? What shape do you see as his body? Circle. Circle? I see a peanut shape. Anybody see a peanut shape? Anybody see, anybody see a shape that goes like, uh, goes like this? Oh. Did you feed shelves? Yeah. So it looks like peanuts, right? So sometimes that's a good shape to use. So let's, I'm going to use that one myself. So you can put a line down like we did the last time, just so you know where he is. And then you can draw a peanut shape like this. And that's pretty good because it gives us a lot. So then we can just add some feet. And then we know that his head is here somewhere. And you put his arm, his hands on his hips. It's going to look like this. So it's really easy to put the shape stage in because as long as you look for the shapes, you can do it in like two minutes flat. So it's really cool. All right. Goodbye. All right. So let's start. So I'm going to switch to uh, my black. I'm going to start. So now we got to take our time with the details. And I'm going to start with the head. We know what the shape is. I'm going to start with the head. And I'm going to draw his nose first. I always like to start with the nose. So I'm going to start with the nose here first. All right. And since this one's a bit of a harder one, you're going to have to take your time with it. Um, but let's draw this part of the mouth here like this. And then he's got another part of the lip underneath. And then he's got the big part of his uh, neck there. So it's going to go like this. And I'm going to draw that line on the top of his nose. I'm also going to draw his one tooth because that's important. And then I'm going to draw another line here as well for the bottom of his eyes. So that now we know where his eyes are. And now we're going to start drawing his eyes. So his eyes are triangle shaped. So we're going to do one eye like this. That's a long eye. That's okay. And then we're going to do the other eye. You can't see the whole thing, but we're going to do it like this. And he's got a little piece of the other side of his mouth. So then I'm going to draw his ear next. So his ear points like this. The reason I drew his ear next is because it's in front of his hat. So uh, it looks like he's got eyebrows that go here and another eyebrow that goes here. That's actually the side of his head. And now we can put the hat in. So the first part we're gonna draw is the brim of the hat. We're gonna draw the hat like this. Right, right. Uh, I have no idea actually. Draw the bottom of the hat. Then we're going to draw the top of the hat. And we'll draw the stripe on a hat right there. He's got a piece of his ear sticking up over here. And you can draw the other side of his head to here. So there's our guy. There's a, there's our head. <laughs> He's got a head at least. <laughs> All right. So let's start with the neck. Let's go down to the neck, draw the little bit of the side of the neck that you can see here. And we're going to draw on the other side, we're going to draw his stomach all the way down to here. We're going to draw that wrinkle that you see on this side. 
And then we're going to draw the bottom of a shirt. We're going to go all the way over to where his hand should be, but we're not going to attach it because we're going to draw his hand in. So leave a spot for his hand, and you can draw it like that. <coughs> so one of the tricks when you're drawing stuff that have hands and stuff is to draw. Most people will draw the arm first. A lot of artists I know draw the hand first, and it's it's there's a reason for it. So let's draw the finger of the hand first. So we'll do this as the bottom finger. So we're going to do one finger, two fingers. So this is the top of the hand. And then we're going to draw that part there, which is the on his hand, top of his hand. And we're going to draw the bottom of